Today, I want to pre present the how-to of three items in the document that we examined before uh, using uh, header section, inserting emojis, and inserting bullets in the list. For on each of the following slides, I prepared a screen capture. At the top right, you'll see an example taken from the document that we worked on before. And below, you have images of where the menus that I'm talking about are in Microsoft Word Online or in Google Docs. Here you go. So the first item that I want to highlight is to use the header. You'll notice that uh, in uh, the daily lesson document, the header contains the identification of the cohort, the competency, and the date. There could be lots of other uh, information there, but it's always going to be um, uh, information that needs to be accessible, but that it's not es essential to the uh, task of the day. And by placing it in an area where the attention does not go naturally for the reader, using the header is likely to help students point their focus where it needs to go. By default, the setting is that it will uh, be repeated on every page, but it would, it, the, those settings can be uh, changed if you want the header to be on the first page. In Microsoft, there is a header button. At a, uh, Stay on the previous slide, Robin. Yeah, you see the little header uh, sign at the top right of the document. And in Google, you just double click on the space above the margin to make the header appear. And then you can put the content that you want. Now we're going to change slide to see how we can insert emojis. In the daily lesson document, there are many emojis. For example, there is a clipboard to identify the organization section and a smartphone icon to insist that students bring their personal device. Emojis should not be decorative, but have a purpose like summarizing a sentence or identifying a section page. You don't want them to become a distraction. When they become, when they, they can also become is some kind of uh, iconography. They're going to be signs that the learners recognize on every document, or they can also create your own personal signature that differentiates you from the other uh, instructors. In Microsoft, you open the insert tab, emojis are at the right, and you might need to use the three dot menu to make them appear if your window is a bit narrow. In Google, you go in the drop down insert menu that you will, that's where you'll find the emojis. And on our, the last slide, you to insert bullets in a list in the daily lesson document, the different learning goals are listed in uh, point form. We're in the realm of accessibility here. Items are justified to the left. The transit from one concept to the other is clearly indicated. And the continuation from one line to the other is also super clear. Remember that the spacing can be adjusted to your needs, for example, between the lines, between the bullet and the margin, or between the bullet and the text. To, you first need to select the text that you want to apply bullets to. In Microsoft, you need to be in the Home tab to find the bullet menu approximately in the center. In Google, you will find it on the right. In both cases, you might have to use the three-dot menu again to make that, those options appear. That concludes my presentation today. I hope that these three tips help you design documents that are conceived with the user experience and the learner's point of view in mind.